Let's get ready to rumble! Let's go. Let's go, champ. So, um, the regular WBA belt is, um, I, I don't know what they're doing. The WBA are fast losing their credibility. If any one connected with the organization is watching this, you need to do something quick. I will scrap that belt totally. You need to do something about this, yeah? Because let's not forget, the promoters couldn't find a television broadcaster. No undercard had been announced, apparently. They also couldn't get nobody to bid the million dollar minimum for the fight. They couldn't get that. Someone bid 400,000. It was gonna go to purse bids again. But if they failed again, they would both lose their rankings that entitled them to fight for the title. So they negotiated a deal and something got hammered out. But that's the kind of fight we're dealing with that the WBA are trying to put on. I like Shannon. I like Shannon. I enjoyed interviewing the guy. He's always had a good energy about him. He was on the Fuji's album. But we're kind of lucky that he's put an end to this fight. So apparently, Shannon Sample revealed a 7.89 to 1 testosterone to epitestosterone ratio. The allowable limit is 4 to 1. So he hasn't actually been found with no substance in him, but there is a realistic barometer of how much testosterone you can have. So maybe he's an exception, but the rule is the rule. The rule is the rule. And to add to the farce, to add to the farce, I remember informing you guys that BJ Flores is now ranked by the WBA after getting smashed by Tony Bellew at Cruiser. And he's beaten Jeremy Bates, Jeremy Bates since then. And that they've ranked him. And he is ready to step in and take Biggs' place. <laughs> uh, two weeks isn't a problem. I would love to step in the face, Fraser Quendo. I am looking for big opportunities, says Flores. Yeah, I'm sure you are. The WBA, man. If you do this, you do this. But it's absolutely crazy. They should do it and just prove what a joke the sanctioning bodies have become. They should actually do it. For the other second-rate belt, they reinstated... Lucas, old Lucas, who got busted twice. Somehow Lucas was taking him to court and getting the upper hand until the second test he got popped with, put an end to all that. Then Fraser Quendo, who's been waiting for another fight for this belt since 2014, sued Shagayev, who beat him in a close decision. He sued Shagayev's promotional outfit in Germany saying they didn't pay him all of his money and they didn't operate the rematch clause that he had in the contract. And it's a more bullcrap, you know, litigation, which I'm not going to go through. He won the case and he's still waiting for this fight now. But what's he done to even have deserved a, a shot in 2014, let alone 2017, is absolutely mad. And the WBA, this is what you've caused with this proliferation of belts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I believe they made the regular belt I think I've told this story a few times. When Lennox Lewis had a few of the straps, WBC, WBA, WBC mandated him to fight Michael Grant. The WBA said, no, you can't go do that, you know. You need to fight John Ruiz. This is Don King doing that. He couldn't fight two guys at once. It went to court. Lennox lost one of his belts. The WBA knew it was some bullshit. So they went and made a regular belt to accommodate guys like Lewis who had unified titles and give them more time to take on their mandatories so a unified belt holder with the WBA belt got elevated to a super champion then you got the regular and I don't know where the interim came in Messi well, anyway, sanctioning bodies for you in it. 